Hello and welcome to the second part of this series on extracting Google Analytics data into Google Sheets. This is Omid, and in the first part of this tutorial, I covered the manual way of extracting Google Analytics data into a CSV or Excel file or directly into a Google Sheet. We saw that the process was quick and easy, it was completely free, and there was nothing to learn or install. We also saw that the process was good for one-time ad hoc analysis and when working with the small data sets. There are also some limitations. The process was manual, and you needed to do it every time you wanted to extract your data. The resulting data set was static, and only the visible rows from your Google Analytics report would have been exported to the Google Sheets. And that was limited to 5,000 rows maximum. Finally, the data set wasn't exactly in the best format for working with data because there were additional rows at the top and bottom of the data set. Now today, I'm gonna to cover how to extract the exact same data set from Google Analytics, but this time automatically and through the Google Analytics reporting API using a Google Sheet add-on. In the second method, you can extract your Google Analytics data into your Google Sheet automatically and keep the extracted data set updated and refreshed on a regular basis. Let's see how it works. First, create a new Google Sheet and click Add-on, Get Add-ons. Then, you need to find and install Google Analytics Add-on for Sheets. Once you've done, you can access it through Add-ons menu, Google Analytics, Create Report. Then, a sidebar will appear that allows you to configure your reports. If you remember from the previous tutorial, we exported the Source Medium report, for two segments or users and direct traffic from 1st of January to the end of March. Now we would like to do the same through the Google Sheet add-on. First of all, let's give our report a name. Then we need to select the account, the property, and the view from which we want to extract data. Next, we need to select what metrics and dimensions do we want to extract. And for the dimensions, we only want source medium. Next, we can select one or more segments, all users and direct traffic. Now let's create our report. A report configuration sheet will be created in which we can review and tweak the report settings before we run the report. Note that the date range has been set automatically to the last 30 days. It wasn't possible to define it through the sidebar, but we can adjust it here. There are also other configurations that we can adjust here. We can define the order of sorting, we can apply a filter, and we can also define how many rows of data do we want to extract. If we leave it empty, it will return all the rows. Now let's apply a filter so the API only returns data for US users. Once we are happy with the report configuration, we can go to Add-ons, Google Analytics, and Run Report. Note that this data set seems to be cleaner than the one we used to get from manual export. There is no time series data table at the bottom, but still there are summaries and total rows at the top. Now let's check row number 6. It says that this report contained sample data. In the free version of Google Analytics, when there are more than half a million sessions in the report time frame, data sampling kicks in. That means all available data won't be processed, but instead, the numbers in the report will be calculated based on a smaller subset of data. In this case, we can see that the numbers are being extrapolated based on less than 35% of the actual available data. In the final section of this tutorial, I will show you how we can try to eliminate the effect of data sampling in our reports. Now let's see how we can automate this process. Because up to this point, it was not so much different from the manual exports method. To automate the process of this extraction, we can go to Add-ons, Google Analytics, Schedule Reports. Here, we can enable the reports to run automatically every hour, every day, every week, or every month. Once we save this, the add-on will run at the selected interval even if the sheet is closed 
and will refresh the dataset automatically. So as you see, the benefits of using Google Analytics add-on for Sheets is that it's quick and easy to install. It can help you dynamically pull data from Google Analytics API. It can be scheduled to run on an hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly basis to extract new data, and the dataset is cleaner than the one we can get from manual export. And finally, it is completely free. But there are limitations as well. First of all, the options in the user interface are kind of limited. We can only choose metrics, dimensions, and segments. Everything else should be manually adjusted by entering data into cells of report configuration sheet, even the date range. We also saw that the data set isn't immediately ready for doing analysis because of the extra rows at the top. We also saw that the API request is subject to the same data sampling threshold as the Google Analytics reporting interface. But there's also another limitation which I haven't covered yet. If you're a more advanced user of Google Analytics, you know that there are two different reporting APIs. The core reporting API, which allows you to access metrics and dimensions for the most part of a standard report, like channels, source medium, and conversions through the last known direct click attribution model. And then there is MCF or multi-channel funnels reporting API, which allows you to access the metrics and dimensions like assisted conversions, conversion parts, and also access to different attribution models. The Google Analytics add-on for Sheets only allows us to access core reporting API. So for example, we can have source medium in our dimensions, but we cannot have source medium parts. It is not available. Or in metrics, we can have conversions, but we cannot have assisted conversion. The metric is simply not available. That's it. This was Google Analytics add-on for Google Sheets. We covered how we can use it to automatically extract data from Google Analytics into a Google Sheet, with some limitations, of course. If you like all of these, and also want to have some more flexibility and have access to some nice extra features, then make sure to watch the final part of this tutorial in which I'm going to introduce you to super metrics for Google Sheets. Thank you very much. Bye.